Welcome back. Yes. Hey, no, 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 no. Welcome back. I was gone for a while back from city to city. It's been about it's close to you right out of here, bro. About a year. It's been about a year. Y'all miss us. I know y'all did. Yeah. First segment back, we're gonna do it on a good day. We missed y'all too. Man, did we miss you? We y'all. We real. missed y'all, man. So welcome back to the process. With me, Mr. Things Moore, and my co-host, the health creditor, Jonathan. What's up? Yes. Exactly. So, so let me put my stuff down real quick so y'all get the full flag of it. And, uh, yeah, I always remember I'm from St. Louis, this is Dallas. You know, we're doing it like this, like this down in Dallas. Oh, Cliff. I'm sorry. O-A-K. Oh, Cliff. Oh, Cliff. Yes. My apologies. My apologies. Nah, I'll be fine. So... <clears throat> we want to do a review. Um, John just seen the movie. Uh, and uh, I'm going to put the movie right somewhere, probably right there. Yeah, I'll put it right there. So, the movie that we are getting ready to uh, get a review Two Distant Strangers. Yeah, two distant. two distant Strangers. If you have not seen Distant Strangers, go check it out. Um, no matter what race you are, you or who Netflix. you are, but I know it's on Netflix. Yeah. If you have a Netflix account, if you don't, borrow your friends. Check it out. Check it out. Uh, the storyline so uh, two people, a black man and a white cop, and they kept repeating. Kept repeating. They kept repeating the same day. Um, and the cop always killed the black man. Always. No matter what he tried to do, no he, he tried to kill the Batman. So we're going to give a review, man. Um, because I watched it first. This is, you know, it's been out for a while. Um, and I had to hit my boy to it. So, John, based off what you saw, because yeah. I made sure that you watched it to the end, because it's short. It's a short. It's only 30 minutes. Right. Right. What, is, what was your thoughts about it? Well, basically, man, uh, uh, what I got from it is basically, I don't care what a black man does. I don't care where he goes. It's coffee, by the way. It uh, like it doesn't it doesn't make a difference what we do. It's never good enough. It's never freaking good enough. Whether we run toward it or we want to run away from it, it's just it, it's never good enough. It's very very unfortunate that we as black men can't even get you know pulled like, you know pulled over by the police. Without fear that we might not even make it to the house, man. Yeah, to the crib. He was oh, just trying to make it back to his dog. That's all he was trying to do. You know what I'm saying? And like I say, it, it's it's sad, but it's true. And it's sad that dude, that you have to make movies or shorts or whatever like that to show reality, man. Mm -hmm. And that's the same that that's a part of reality. Like that's that's insane, dude. Yeah, that is absolutely yeah. insane. So let me before you, cause you you get into your review, let me let me because I'm eager to say what I. I did not like it. Mm -hmm. I like the concept. Right. I like the I like what they did and what they said. Um, I can go with the back and forth. I was just looking for a different ending. Mm -hmm. um, but it ended well though because he did explain that no, no matter what it took, he was gonna he was gonna make this thing right. 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 And I feel like that's how we we should be as individuals, no matter what race, no matter what creed, no matter what religion. Mm -hmm. Let's figure out how we can have a, a cordial bond. You know what I'm saying? So I, it's like I'm, I'm, I ain't gonna lie. I, I'm wishing you watched with the movie because um, over the short, um, I'm not saying I didn't like it. Even though I did say that, but I'm not really saying that because I like the concept. I just didn't like the way it ended. Yeah, yeah I wish that they could have compromised and, and came to an agreement on what we can do to move forward because like you know the last little you know some 11 minutes of the movie and show it was in a car talking right and the police officer really said i didn't i never got the note i like, know people like you he kind of used a racial slur, slur, slur yeah. when yeah, he yeah. kind of said it because i think i don't know i think he said you people or something. I never something really, got yeah. to really talk to you people to yeah. understand the logistics of it right so i'm really really engaged on more shorts. I actually, funny thing about it, I, I wrote, I wrote a short, mm -hmm. and uh, we're gonna we gonna film it soon. Uh, I don't know exactly when, so you know, I wrote a short. Um, it's gonna be, it's gonna be dope. You know, I know so it is, bro. It's gonna be dope. So you put your hands on, you rock it I, out. I appreciate man. that, man. Like, so I did write a short, and I, I you gotta sneak. It's called Reincarnation. 
but you don't know the concept. So no matter you, 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 somebody just said, oh, I'm gonna do a rear guard. You you don't know the concept of how I'm gonna flip it. So ah, gotcha. Thought you had, thought you had one, didn't you? But yeah, man. So so finish your review. I'm sorry, I didn't let you finish. Nah, you good, man. Nah, cause only only other thing I was gonna say, man. You know, I like the way. I, now, I, I like the way it ended with what the black guy said. He said, I'm going to get to my daddy, dog. Yeah. So now, to that. me, that showed the resilience of black men. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't care how far y'all kick us down. I don't care how, you know, you kill us. Hey, mm -hmm. you know, like I heard uh, my boy, uh, the Shaka Musa Barisango say, he's a deceased now, but he's an author, you know. Anyway, you know, he said, the African never dies. You know? The African never <laughs> dies. We come back. We come back. I don't care you call it cockroaches. I don't care what you do, but at the end of the day, man, you know we, we have a resilience as black men. You know, we, we're strong, we're strong. Right. And uh, like I say, I, I I like the way it ended. I like that part. Right. You know, that's that's the part ended. I did. Yeah. Like he, with his with that relentlessness. You're relentless. Yeah. I, I like that part of it, but I just didn't like that he kept repeating the same cycle and he knew the cycle and the cop knew exactly the cycle. But no matter what, he was still you. Yeah. So that's yeah. true. But it's a, it's a, it's like one of those funny realities. Mm -hmm. It's a shame. It's a reality. It's yeah. A so mm -hmm. my thing is, man, what can we do to change it? Or, or, or do you even think it's a possibility that it can be changed? Yeah, but the thing about it is, cause we're taking steps to change it now, but the only thing about it is, it's going to be who will really benefit from the change mm -hmm. is our children too. That's true. Because change, the progression, yeah. the process that you're in the show, so, yeah. it, it takes time yeah. to be. Yeah. So, man, you know, I mean, we're going to hold y'all on, man. We just want to give our review about this. Uh, you're going to see it, see it again in the same capacity. Maybe out here again from a different from different angles. But it's good weather. We love it. Drinking my coffee. It ain't morning, but coffee's still good. Mm -hmm. Doing my thing. <laughs> For real. I ain't going to lie. Just so. Uh, I salute the divinity in you, and we will see you next time on The Process.